Hi everybody, I'm Farhan from Chaos and today we'll be covering all new features and updates to Enscape. So the first one we're going to talk about is Veras. Veras is now integrated directly in Enscape, meaning you can generate AI-powered design variations right from your Enscape viewport. Be it the conceptual design phase, detailed design, or a final render you want to revisit, you can now generate images and compare them in a matter of seconds. You could even select areas within an image and prompt it directly on those parts only. It's a very powerful combination. Check it out if you haven't already. The next update we have is the Chaos Cloud 3D Streaming Beta. Now, Enscape just introduced 3D scene sharing. You can upload your 3D scene to Chaos Cloud and share it with your team or customers. Once you're in the Enscape viewport, just click on the Share Scene button Choose your project folder and click Upload. With our new 3D streaming service, you can provide a comprehensive understanding of your designs and improve customer satisfaction. You can keep reviewers invested in the design process by exploring 3D scenes in real time, uh, zooming in on the details, creating new views, and communicating feedback with comments and visual annotation tools. Unlike the web standalone, 3D streaming provides the highest quality graphics as desktop Enscape would, but directly in a browser. You can use 3D streaming on any device, including tablets and smartphones, thanks to our touch navigation support. The beta is out. Definitely, definitely give it a test run and you'll be amazed with the experience it offers. You can also view our virtual tours and panels on the cloud using a VR headset. Um, navigate your tour and use the controllers and make use of this immersive experience as well. While there are many of these notable updates to the Chaos Cloud, one most important is the possibility to assign multiple floor plans to your tour. So even if you have like 50 levels in your building, you can still add a floor plan for each of them and make your tour easier to navigate. We just did a whole webinar on it. Do check that out as well. The next feature we have is the selective asset exclusion while you are in the white mode. This is a very special feature. Um, so I could be in the white mode and I can override asset categories to be fully visualized while everything else is still in white. So for example, I want to emphasize on the circulation, I can exclude the people assets from the white mode. Or I want to express the landscape design better in my visuals, I can exclude them from the white mode. Or I could simply have everything in white except for my building to put more emphasis on my design only. So there are a number of variations you have and you could also manually select assets and exclude them. It's really useful, check it out. Next, we have the emissive materials as ray traced light sources. So previously, emissive materials were used more as an illuminated texture, but now they behave like true light sources when ray tracing is enabled. So if you take a look here, we can see how it compares to before and after, and it really does a great job delivering cleaner and consistent illumination. By the way, this is a Windows only feature. You will also find the artistic visual modes much more refined recently. Um, so for example, improved line work and vegetation controllers make pen and pencil modes easier to read and uh, a bit more polished for early design presentations. And here's a comparison on how this has improved, how it looks now. All right. So some additional updates, um, we have now new building types in Enscape Impact. There's also a section tool in Impact for room level analysis. Ray trace sun shadows for walkthrough mode, so while you are in the walkthrough mode. Support for DLSS4 super resolution, this is also Windows only. UI enhancements. Um, so we have some UI enhancements for a smoother workflow. This includes changes to the Enscape material editor, asset placement, um, multi-asset selection, 
uh, some improved tooltips, a few more things as well. Let's now talk a bit about updates that are specific to some of the host cats. So the first one is SketchUp 2025 compatibility. Photoreal material support. SketchUp physically based materials are now rendered as intended in Enscape, bringing more realism directly from your models. Improved roughness handling. Enscape applies default roughness if texture maps are missing in SketchUp, avoiding any inconsistencies in your renderings. The geometry update toggle for batch views. You can now speed up view switching and batch rendering by preventing unnecessary geometry reloads. This is controlled right in the view management panel and as you know, this option is already available for some of the host cads. Sun position changes. So sun position changes made in SketchUp 2025 under environments tab are accurately reflected in Enscape, ensuring consistent lighting between the modeling environment and the final renders. Revit 2026 compatibility. The newest Revit version is fully supported with Enscape. Also, the graphic overrides and filters are fully supported as well. What you see in Revit matches what you render in Enscape. There's a way to enable or disable the graphic overrides uh, with a Revit specific setting inside the Enscape toolbar. I can show this here on the screen. Yeah, here you can enable or disable this setting. Archicad updates. Um, faster property loading for smoother performance. Enscape now loads Archicad properties on demand only. This boosts stability and prevents issues with incompatible BIM data. Let's now move towards the topic licensing. Now, licensing has been a major topic of conversation recently and understandably so, we have had lots of questions around it. With the release of uh, version 4.2, we transitioned to the Chaos License Server, which significantly simplified the licensing experience for our users. Since then, we have focused on making licensing easier to manage, it's more reliable and nearly free of downtime. The floating license remains unchanged. Uh, you can still assign and share seats across your organization's network with ease. And we have added support for a single sign-on SSO, as well as provisional licensing support. SSO improves both security and ease of access. So for ID managers, it centralizes control by connecting to your identity provider, and it makes onboarding and offboarding users very easy. For the end users, um, SSO means one login for all applications, no more um, juggling multiple usernames and passwords. Another big improvement is the Enscape's old fixed licenses that were tied to a single machine. This has been replaced with a more flexible named license model. Now, the named license model lets you install Enscape on multiple devices. So it could be your office computer, uh, your home setup, or even a travel laptop. While only one instance can run at a time, the license is now tied to your user login rather than to a specific machine. So wherever you are, just uh, use your login and you'll be able to use Enscape. There's also a kill switch feature allowing you to remotely terminate a session if you're logged into another device. So this makes it incredibly convenient to switch environments without worrying at all. Let's now talk about the Chaos Suites. So Chaos now offers suites that extend your standalone Enscape license, which is designed to cover every stage of your design and visualization workflows. We now have Enscape Premium, which builds on core Enscape features by adding Veras for advanced AI-driven ideation and on-demand image generation directly within your CAD and BIM environment. Then we have the Arch Design Collection. This delivers the full spectrum of tools you need from early stage concept visuals to photorealistic stills, animations, and immersive presentations. So on top of everything in Enscape Premium, it brings Enscape Impact for advanced 
analytics, daylight studies, and performance insights. Chaos and Vision are all new storytelling tool that transforms your 3D scenes into interactive narrative experiences. Together, these suites give you everything from conceptual stills, AI image generation, enhancements, detailed renders, to video animation and storytelling capabilities, and all under a single license. So you can focus on your design rather than multiple subscriptions. So these were the Enscape updates. And something I wanted to talk about is our coming soon section. Coming soon, we have the Cosmos Enscape integration. You might have heard the big news already. Cosmos will soon be the universal asset delivery system for all Chaos products, including Enscape. So starting with version 4.10 at the end of August, Enscape users will be able to access their existing Enscape asset library directly within the Cosmos interface, creating a more um, unified and streamlined workflow. Enscape Entourage will be directly in the Cosmos browser. So initially, it will be integrating all current Enscape assets, and then Cosmos will gradually expand to include up to 14,000 new high-quality real-time ready assets, such as vegetation, furniture, accessories, and a lot more stuff. So with a geo-specific focus on Asia, these additions support more localized and authentic design. These assets will be released in curated drops, so starting September 2025. So get ready to level up your visuals with smarter, more connected content and builds for every stage of your creative process. This is for today, guys. Enjoy these updates and I'll catch up with you soon with a lot more.